Okay, so we are live. Okay, um, so welcome to Vlogmas day number two. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm going to keep trying to do it. I want to um, try to uh, be able to do a, something a day, something every day, um, at least until Christmas, maybe maybe this whole month. We'll see how this works. I've never done Vlogmas before. So today we're going to come in and we're going to take a look at Koala Go. We're going to take a look at the platform, the um, the playground, the reward system specifically. Um, so Teacher Homa said it looks exciting. Um, it feels like you're stuck in Sims 1999. You know what? I'm not, you must not be familiar with Minecraft. So their rewards system the rewards program is kind of like the playground is kind of like Minecraft. And when I first saw Minecraft, I thought the same thing, like this is a thing, but yes, it's a thing. Everybody loves it. So even though it's like, you know, retro, <laughs> um, if you want to join me in the classroom, go in the Facebook group. Nobody is in there right now. If you want to join me in the classroom, go in our Facebook group and or, or go check your email and you can click um, there to go in. We're going to go in. We're going to play as if we're a student. Um, my I'm, I'm in Facebook jail right now. My account's restricted for 14 days, so people might not be seeing this. Um, what I posted, but if you want to go, you can go over if you're actually watching this live. If not, then just check it out and I'll just, I'll just do it by myself. All right. So I'm going to share my screen here. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So here we go. Can you guys see me? Okay. Can you see the, the classroom? This is the Koala Go. This is the Koala Go classroom. And if you're interested in doing Koala Go, there is a like teaching on Koala Go. There is a um, link in the, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's in the description box. If you're watching it on Facebook, it's in the comment section. So you can always go to that afterwards. Um, so, or the description. Okay. So this is the actual classroom. This is what Koala Go looks like. Um, and uh, there are just some basic things here. Like there are some you can, you know, um, you can draw on it. So I'll say, hello. I'm not the best artist with my finger. Um, you know, you can erase things. Um you can put sticky notes. <clears throat> you can, this is the shared browser. So if you wanted you and your student to be doing something and clicking something at the same time, you could do that. Um, there are, you can give rewards to your student. I don't have any gems to give my, to give rewards. Um, but if I wanted to, this is, you would have to be Koala Go if you wanted to give gems. Um, and yep, so I can give like a star, a dice. So you can roll the dice. So there are different things that you can do here. Oops, there are different things that you can do. Ta da! Okay, um, is it sharing the sound? I'm just curious. I don't know if you can hear the sound. There are sounds that go with it, but. You can give your students rewards. Um, oops. Uh, upgrade to pro to get more stars. Okay. So this is, I'm doing this off of a free account to show you what you can do for free. Um, if you want to invite your student, you're going to click here. This is the invite link. So if you would like to come into the classroom, come on in and you're more than welcome to do this with me. If you want to type this in really quick, um, I can't, uh, I can't post, like if I post the link here, you guys won't like actually see it, see it. So, all right. <clears throat> Again, it's in your email. So nobody's in here. Nobody wants to join live and that's totally okay. Um, down here with the little squirrely, you see a squirrel. This is your playground. And um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, it's a lot different than the last time I showed you what the playground looks like. So 
I'm going to open the playground. We're going to go ahead and we're going to be, it's going to be really exciting. It's exciting. That's my kid that's talking. Okay. Wee! There I go. Okay. Bloop. All right. I think that having my camera run in two different places might be like being kind of funny. So let me, let me try this here. Okay. So now I'm in the classroom and if I want to, or this is the reward system, I can zoom in here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, oh, that's the toggle view. I'm going to customize my avatar. Let me come, let me come back over here. Okay. So I'm going to customize my avatar and we're going to change her to, Ooh, I just zoomed in. That was my fault. I'm going to give her blue lips. Yep. Blue, blue lips, green lips, blue lips. Uh, I can give her glasses. That will be my favorite color because that is my favorite color. Um, oh, Michelle is coming in. Okay. So, um, there we go. All right. Michelle is coming in. Is Michelle coming in? Uh, all right. I'm going to, let's see here. Purple hair. Now, let me, let me leave the classroom really quick or let me leave the here really quick. Okay. Except. Trying to let you in, Michelle. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know why it's not letting you in. Real life problems. Real life problems. Okay. So I will tell you that I have not, um, I thought I was joining. Oh, what did she say? Hold on a second. I saw something on Facebook. There's a message on Facebook here. And dun, 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 dun. I thought I saw a message on Facebook. I saw it pop across my screen. Where'd it go? I don't know where it went. I saw it. Okay. So <clears throat> why, why was it? Where's, where's my student? Where's my student? Where's my student? Where's my student? Where are you, Michelle? Okay. I don't know what happened there. Okay. So we'll go back to customizing. Um, we've got uh, accept. I've never had that happen before. Accept. I've never had it not let a student join before. Duh. She looks like a sandwich, a purple and blue sandwich. Except I don't know why it's not letting you join. Obviously purple. Okay. 
So there's your avatar. Okay, so here's my avatar that I'm going to do. I don't know why it's not letting you join, Michelle. I'm clicking accept. I'm letting you in and it's not letting you join. Um, it's so weird. Okay, so now I come over here and I can, oh, what does it say? I got a message saying, got a message saying the teacher is not here. Please try rejoining later. Um, is that the one that you're trying to do? Hold on a second. Let me send it back to her here. Okay. That's weird. She sent me a screenshot saying that it said the teacher wasn't here. So to try again later. So I sent her the link again, just to make sure that she was using the right link. Um, for the right classroom. Okay. So now we have the ability to come in here and you can do different things. So I'm going to make some blocks. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to, I'm, this is the, uh, not pro version. You do get ads. Okay. Accept. That's weird. Okay, that's really weird. Um, I'm gonna make some dirt here. So you can make some dirt, make a, a dirt hill. Um, you see, it's, it's a lot like Minecraft. Um, I want to make a uh, blue house. I'm gonna make a blue house to go with, to go with my, um, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna make a blue house to go with that. I'm not like a Minecrafty person. Oh no, I'm locking me in. Did anybody else try to join? Was it not letting you? I'll let Xavier know too afterwards. Like, hey, I tried to go live and it wasn't letting her in. It said that I wasn't in the classroom. Uh -huh, you can tell I'm not a Minecrafty person. Okay. Wah! Okay. I make stairs. Okay. All right. So there's my, my blue house. Um, I should obviously sandwich it with different colors because apparently that's something that I'm doing now. Um, then you can, you can make a road. You could, so like, you know, now there's like, uh, there's a road. Oops. Okay. I'm going to come over here make a road. See, I can turn the object. Uh, oh, there's a road turn and then more road lines. So I can have like this little road that's coming from my house. Um, I can even make a crosswalk. Do, 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 which is kind of silly. Like I have a road coming from my house. So there, there are the things that you can do for building. I'm going to check the comments really quick. Um, okay. Uh, thanks for teaching us. Just rewound. We'll try and enter the classroom. Okay. I don't know. Someone said it's so cool. I don't know why it's not letting her in. Um, okay. So then we'll go over to home decor. So I'm going to go to school. These cost gems. So when you are pro, you get to reward your students with gems and you can, you can buy gems. Um, but when you're pro, you ha like, you have to be pro to get the to get the gems and then your students would be able to use the gems to add even cooler stuff in there. The gems are the rewards. So instead of them having stars, um, you are able to give them gems and with the gems, they like, you know, it's like their stars can actually get them something. So they have more of a um, incentive, more of an incentive to uh, do things. My daughter loves the Sims. Okay. 
this is cool. This thing is cool. Um, but just to show what they have, so you could, you know, do spider web fences. I wonder if they're going to have something for Christmas coming out. So like now the house is, you could, you could put stuff in your house. So I made my house really small. So I can't, I'm going to have to, I don't really, oh, the house, those all do house gems too. Yeah. Everything costs gems. <clears throat> oh, da, 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 da. It's been a while since I've been, um, since I've taught on this and a lot of stuff has changed, but it's gotten super, super cool. So, um, then the teaching, I can put sticky notes in here. So, uh, what could we use the sticky notes for? Um, the shape of the letter that... Okay. I don't know. See if that works. Okay. So I could do like a little scavenger hunt, right? And then they could like go over and like re maybe read the sticky notes. Okay. Can they read the sticky notes? <laughs> you want it button? It's been a while since I've been on Koala Go and it just keeps getting better and better. But, um, okay. It is really cool. Do you see how cool this is though? Like, I, I don't have the design tools, but okay. So I want to get up here. Ah, this is why I'm like terrible at video games. Wee. I do anything while we're in here. Do, do you know if they can link to sandbox? I can find out. I can find out. I don't even know what the sticky notes are for. Like, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't even know what they're for. Um, so I can, I don't know if I want to bother the help desk when I'm just like playing on. We'll see. Uh, I'm a bunny. Now, if you remember before, all you could do before was plant trees. So I'm just going to start deleting things. There's no road. I can delete things. You guys see how this is like just like Minecraft? Like it's super, 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 super cool. Um, I'm not quite sure what that sticky note, like how, like what you do with that sticky note though. Ah, here we go. So, okay. So they click on it and it, maybe this is just because I put it there. So it's editing it, but I figured that you might be able to like make like a, a scavenger hunt, like, you know, say you're practicing English and you could like, oh, okay. So I have to make three blocks in the shape that makes the sound house. Oh, that's an H, you know? Um, yeah. So that is the, that is the Koala Go classroom. It's really, really cool. They are going to be adding to it. Um, my daughter loved Animal Crossing, been having, or been trying to get my nephews to teach me Minecraft. It looks fun. You know, I honestly, I have, um, I never got into Minecraft. I mean, maybe I'm a little old for it. I like the Sims. My kids like the, my kids like the Minecraft. My kids like Minecraft. Um, and they are, they are going to be adding other things to this as well, which is really cool. I know that they have more plans to make it go um, you know, amazing. Okay. So Katie, so Katie is the, um, owner of a Ridge Academy. So if you don't know her, Katie is with a Ridge Academy. She's absolutely fantastic. If you haven't seen, um, their curriculum, it's amazing. And those of you might know Katie, because a couple of months ago we did a marketing challenge where 600 of you joined us for this. Um, and Katie says there are some amazing, amazing, amazing templates uh, in the Koala Go marketplace, like your scavenger hunt idea. So, um, if you go into the Koala Go marketplace, there are, and I can actually show you that right now. Um, so let me, um, let me go back to teach with Koala and, um, dun, 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 dun. let me go back in and I'll show you 
what it looks like. So if you go into the marketplace, you're going to see the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see a whole bunch of like games curriculum that you can pay for. However, this looks cool. That looks cool. Um, I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Let's look at it. Shout out to teacher Emily. Okay. Escape to Koala Island is an um, obstacle course playground design featuring a large volcano. That's cool. Okay. Oh, I forgot to share this tab. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to come back over here and look. And if you go into the marketplace and you want free activities, you can click on free. All of these activities are completely free. And some of them are interactive. If you have the shared browser, if you are for, if you are Koala Pro, and it's extremely beneficial to go Koala Pro. If you're Koala Pro, it's you know really cool because they'd actually be able to do some of these things by themselves without you having to move it. But um, you can come in and you can pick any of these. Is there any of them that you want to see? Um, if there's any that you want to see, let me know, and I will open that up and we can actually take a look at some of the curriculum that they have. And I mean, this is all free curriculum. Um, the kids are building parkour courses and then getting paid to play. Looks like the future is block shape. Thanks for the class. <laughs> the future is block shape, but you're supposed to think outside the box. Uh, the challenge awesome. Yeah, the challenge was awesome. And for those of you that are, um, so Katie, let me know in the comments here when your next challenge is. Um, I can I can send out uh, an email to anybody and post it in the group as well when she has our next challenge. Um, my next challenge, so I'm running monthly challenges right now. We are just finishing up with our um, email marketing challenge. So this is the last day for the email marketing challenge. If you are interested if you are interested in learning how to market yourself using email marketing, which if you're an independent teacher, if you're a business owner, you really should be focused on, e on knowing at least the basics of email marketing and having set up, having that set up. If you're doing trials, if you're doing private lessons, you really need to have your email list. If you're interested in that, even though the challenge is almost over, the training will still be there. So pop into Independent Teacher Academy. You can go to independentteacheracademy.com and you can join us at any point in time and we will still have the coaching for it. Um, and then on the 12th, we will be doing a coaching showing you how to, uh, I figured with Vlogmas, it's perfect showing you how to YouTube, how, you, how to set up your YouTube. So that's going to be exciting. Um, can we use this as share screen on, on like Apple stuff? Is that what you mean? I don't know what you mean. So I don't know what you mean. And I, I'm not sure what you're asking. Um, well, welcome to the right live, Brenda. Um, so Katie says that she just finished the free uh, Little Red Book boot camp today with the follow on VIP posting challenge starting Monday. Okay, so if you are interested in um, Little Red Book, which is like the Chinese Instagram, Katie is your go-to person. Would love to know more about passive income for teachers. Please, please, please. Okay, I can definitely show you guys some passive income ideas. Um, I will make that part of my Vlogmas. I'm going to be doing Vlogmas, so I'll be coming. I'm going to be trying to do Vlogmas. I'm going to be trying to come on here either with a live or a pre-recorded video every single day this month. Um, so if you have ideas that you want to see, let me know. Um, if you're on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, these will be on YouTube. Um, okay. Brenda says, happy Friday, everybody. Uh, the email marketing challenge sounds amazing. It is. And I'll be honest, um, I didn't do a very good job marketing it myself. And I guess that's where you, you fail, you fail to learn. And I, what I, what I messed up with, I was talking about this last night in our channel, in our coaching session, um, because we do coaching when we do the challenges, we do the coaching every single day. So you have the coaching along with the challenge. And, um, what I messed up with, with the challenge is really, really explaining to you guys how important and like really having you understand how important email marketing really is. Um, 
like it's it's something that you need to have. Email marketing can completely change your business. You can have somebody that it's going to take you from being able, and I'll make a whole video on why email marketing is important, but just like a quick thing. It's going to take you from like speaking in messages one-on-one -on -one to people and then forgetting about them to constantly remaining in contact with people. And that grows. It takes it takes so much stress off of you because you're no longer doing one-on-one -on -one messages to set up classes or to follow up with somebody. You're not like, you know, you don't, you don't feel like you're barging in on their territory by, um, you know, following up with them and asking if they're ready yet. You don't have to do that. You can just continue to share value in your emails and then the students will come. The students will pop on and pop into your classes. It's just, it's really, really, it, and I, I started it with my students with WeChat. I've done it with other things. Um, it works in the Chinese marketplace. It works in the non-Chinese marketplace. And it's so vital to have it added on to your business plan. So if you're interested in learning how to email market, um, make sure you join independent teacher Academy and that's at independent teacher academy.com out school. No, you cannot use this on out school. I mean, okay. So out school teaches on zoom. So you could not use Koala go on out school, but you could use any of the, you could use any of the stuff from the marketplace. And I'll show you, like, we'll just, I'll just pick one. Um, now, remember, uh, the marketplace does not have, I'm sorry, um, Zoom does not have shared browsing. So your students would not be able to do anything with shared browsing. Um, you would have to move everything. But you can see here, this is your first, your first slide. And then there are four slides in this lesson. So it's not just one slide. So, um, you know, it's, it's, wait, did I, I shared it, right? Yeah, it shared. Wait, hold on. I got, I got to make sure I, I don't know if I shared it. Hold on. I think I, I think I didn't share it. <sighs> Let me try this again. Let me try this again. I think I forgot to switch my tab that I was sharing. Okay. Cause it opened up in a new tab. All right, so we're going to open this up. Okay, share this tab instead. Okay, here we go. So here is the slide. I apologize for that. And you can see here that it's got four different slides. And, you know, you can drag and drop things um, to see, you know, if it's going to be, you know, what category it's going to go in. Okay, so you can move things around the screen. And, you know, you could still like, you could still draw on the screen. You can still type on the screen. Hello? You can still type on the screen. You can still like do all of that stuff. There are four different slides for this one. Um, but so you could, you could use it for a different platform like All School by just going on there and, you know, popping on. Um. It's just that they won't be able to have shared browsing. Counting money. First, select a level and then choose beginner or expert. expert. It's talking. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Do you guys want to count to $100? Expert mode. Collect 10 fish to get to. Okay. So that's how that works. You could share it to OutSchool, but you're going to be using Zoom and they wouldn't have the ability to do everything that you wanted them to do. Um, so Brenda said, your boot camp is so good. I was watching it. I wish I wish there were more hours in the day. Yeah, and you're getting ready to go on vacation, girl. You need to slow down a little bit. But Katie's boot camp is really, really good. And if anybody ever has a chance to join it, I would highly recommend it. If you're interested in learning Little Red Book, Xiao Hongshu. Katie is the go-to person. You're crazy. This girl's crazy. All right, Tita Homa said, thank you. Katie said, I'm glad you enjoyed the boot camp. Um, how can we sell less lessons in China um, using the blockchain and crypto? What do you mean blockchain? Like they're like in crypto. I don't, I, look, I am not the crypto person to talk to. Um, 
I, I, I don't know. <laughs> That's not my thing. I have no idea. I'm terrible email marketing, but I agree. It's, it's super powerful. You, yeah. Every successful like person that's like up there has an email marketing plan. Um, it's taking me ages to market and find new students. Any help appreciated. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun. Actually, uh, Homa, you have a YouTube channel too, don't you? Didn't I see you have a YouTube channel? I feel like I've, I've seen your YouTube before. You're a hello. Oh my goodness. Do you guys want to see this? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Um, if you're on a computer or laptop, you can give them full control or you can give them control on a mo mobile and the draw and click will work. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Um, I've used cool. That's she's talking about for zoom. I've used Koala for the shared browsing feature, but with Zoom for the video before, but wouldn't generally recommend this. And I'm not sure OutSchool would allow it anyways. Um, OutSchool would allow you to use the curriculum. Um, they, you would have to check their rules. I think everything that you use, it's an outside site has to, like, it has to follow the, the, um, child protection laws and it has to be accessible by out school. So just check their handbook. You might be able to, I wouldn't recommend using Koala go in conjunction with out school. However, you could use their marketplace of curriculum. Um, you could do that. Um, can we screen share the Koala with out school students? Yes, you could do that. Um, you could do that. Uh, 200 calendar links customized in three days. Oh, Brenda's got this really cool advent calendar that she's doing for teachers, um, for their students. So, and, uh, she's sorry, I'm going to call you out here. She's absolutely insane because it's less than a dollar to get into it. It's, it's crazy, but, um, yeah, <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, China may have banned cryptocurrencies, Tell Claire Barry you said hi. Claire, the bunny teacher said hi. Okay. Love the videos you guys made about the Chinese markets. You're welcome. Um, I don't think Koala Go is on the out school approved list, so I don't think you'd be allowed to give students access to join the Koala classroom just through squish, square sharing. I can't even talk. Share Screen sharing of the curriculum. Yeah. Koala Go is not on the OutSchool approved list, and it's been a really long time since I've taught with OutSchool. So I am not 100% familiar with all the changes. They have made a ton of changes um, since I've left, so I'm not 100% sure what all of the changes are. Uh, I do think you can use something that's not on the approved list if you get approval from the admin or whatever. I think think, but don't mark my word for it. This is something that you would have to ask out school because again, I'm teaching with all school, not with all, not without school. So I haven't been without school in almost a year. I mean, it's, I think it was like, I don't know. It was the beginning of last year. Um, I've seen all school classes mentioning Koala Go though. So all school is really cool because they give you more power um, than out school does. Like you're allowed to do email marketing to your students. You're allowed to, I just had a student send me her phone number. Like the mom sent me her phone number and she said, Hey, I have a really hard time remembering classes. Sorry, I missed class. Here's my phone number. I don't know if that's allowed. <laughs> I have to ask, like, I, I don't know if I want to be texting parents like, Hey, you know, you're in class. Um, I know all school will do it for you. Um, but you know, just to send her a reminder, you know, if I wanted to like an hour before or something like that. Um, but, uh, out school kicked you off when you moved to Japan. So not there, taught there for ages either. I got kicked out by out school too, because I 
I opened my mouth and I advocated for teachers um, about some some changes that they made that I was not okay with. And um, they, I don't ever talk about this, but they were like, they they were like, yeah, you're you're done, you're done. Um, they made it so that teachers could not talk to their students or the parents outside of class, even if you brought that student on there. So if your, um, say your cousin, your cousin's kid is taking a class on out school and you bring that student in as your referral, like it's, it's your cousin's kid, but you bring them onto the platform and they find out that you're talking to the mom or the kid about out school classes outside of the out school platform, not through out school messaging, through instant messenger or texting or anything like that. Even though that's somebody, you know, from outside and they're your student that you brought on, you can lose your job. If you do email marketing, which I completely disagree with this. This is this is the big thing that I, I completely disagree with. But if you, um, uh, which was right, you did the right. Did, do you remember me calling them out? They deleted my post on the. I was really nice about it. I have screenshots of it. They deleted my post in the Facebook group, and um, then they kicked me out, and they made it like everything that they said never existed. Um, but if they, uh, if you're doing Facebook marketing, and um, if you're doing Facebook marketing and you are paying for ads, and I'm seeing a lot of out school teachers do this, they will pay for ads, um, or anything. Okay. Then you're not allowed to, um, have, you're so weird. Um, you're not allowed to have like email marketing. You're not allowed to have that. This is how important email marketing is. OutSchool knows how important it is, so they will not allow you to do it unless it's for them. You have to give them their direct link. And I called that out. Um, what was my post about? Um, I said, I'm, I can actually probably even pull it up. You look ridiculous. Um, let's see, hold on a second. I have a screenshot because I was talking to my friend about it. So let me look in our, oh, let me. You're a ranger ho Halloween monster. Yeah. Let me let me look like forever ago. Back to our screenshots here. Um. Goodness. Okay. Uh. Wait. No, that's the reply. Okay. All right. So this was, this was my post. I said, quote, even if you're personally acquainted with your learners, all communication must be kept on the platform. Many teachers are marketing their own classes and have their own email list filled with students and potential students that they acquired from their own hard work. They bring them to out school instead of taking them totally independent because they love and appreciate out school. Like I was really nice. Okay. Please tell me you aren't banning this. Teacher, you got something in your eye? Teachers should be allowed to be in control of their own success. Teachers should be allowed to market new listings to an email list that they grew them, themselves through Instagram, Facebook, etc. So that was exactly what I said. That like Mommy, it wasn't can anything you give mean. Me another aerial. Can I give you another aerial? Yeah. The message from I well in a second. The message from them is this. Um so if you want to pause that, if you're watching the replay, but I'll read it. Even if Come you're on, personally give acquainted. Me, give me my ear okay. uh, I'll get you ear in a second. Even if you're personally acquainted with um, one of your enrolled families, any messages with or about your learners must be sent very via the classroom or direct messages on the OutSchool platform. <clears throat> Communication <throat> through OutSchool is part of our policy, blah, 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 blah. So, um, that's that's what that post was about. Um, and, and like I said, hold on, when they made this, I said, hold on a second. You have teachers that are out there that are, um, you know, you have teachers that are out there that are marketing for you. They're bringing students onto the platform. You're going to tell me no, that no, 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 they no, can't no. email market anymore. Sing the guitar song. Oh girl, they do not want to hear me sing. Um, they replied, um, I reached out to the team. So here is their reply. Okay. It says, I reached out to the team Hi. to get some clarity on this matter. Yeah, you want to see your face? This is what. Oh, you don't. What are you doing? You know. Just want my arts and craft thing. It took a bite out of a wreath. There's something wrong with you. Um, 
Uh, so anyways, okay. So anyways, they ended up they ended up saying that it was okay and then they went back on it, they backtracked on it. They deleted my post and deleted any proof that they ever said that, which I wasn't really happy about. And then you're crazy. And then, stop. Stop it. And that sit with me. No. Um and uh then they uh, dun, 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 dun. what was I gonna say? Oh, and then the next thing they did was they made a post saying, Hey everybody, we want all of the teachers to start blog posts for us, which is basically creating backlinks for their SEO to make their site rank higher in like Google Analytics and everything. Yeah. Oh, you want a background? So um yeah, they that's that's basically what they did. I Girl, what did you do? <laughs> oh my god. Yes, what did you do? Your face, your feet, you look I'm gonna show you. I'm a monster. I am a pookie pookie. I am really afraid to look and see what my makeup looks like right now. Is that my makeup or your makeup? my makeup. Is it your makeup? It better be. Um <laughs> so all school all school allows you to talk to your students uh teacher homa i have taken a class my daughter has taken a class with her and they uh she asked all school for my email to send me something and they asked me for permission to give it to her and um they gave her my email so she can email my you're crazy we don't don't waste money on paid ads to so do our market for us. Link to us, please. Get, get, that's my problem with that. Stop. Here, be a baby bird. Be a, be a little baby mermaid, okay? Yes, that's my problem with Outsquisher. I think they're a great company, but I don't like whoever's in charge of making those decisions. That was wrong. It's unethical. Um. Good night, Brenda. Good night, Pookie. Okay. All right. Can I poop? Oh my goodness, you're crazy. <laughs> so yeah, that was my problem with that. But we yeah, we kind of Can went I off track. Poop? I haven't I haven't really talked about that publicly. I just pretended it didn't exist because I still support out school. I still think they're a great company to work for. I just be aware that you should not market anything to them. I poop. Let them stop it. Let them do the marketing for you. Let them do it. They have enough students. They have the money. They can do the marketing. They're taking enough money from you. They're taking 30%. There's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be able to email market the own students, your own students that you brought in. I am more likely to. Okay. Come here, crazy. You're going you're gonna to clean out the barn with me. You want to get the pitchfork and clean out the barn? Yeah. Okay. We're going to do that in a minute, okay? And then I have to pinch you. Nose up. Don't pinch my nose up. I'm gonna pinch your nose up. Um, and then we're gonna wash that face because it looks like you went rolling in the barn. But I'm supposed to be a monster. You're supposed to be a monster. Yeah, that's a Halloween look. Okay. It's a oh, it's a Halloween look. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Ah! Shh, I'm on. Ah! She's getting restless. Ah! Uh, yes, but I, th I think that OutSchool is a great company and I don't want to bad mouth them because you can have a lot of success with OutSchool. They have a lot of students, but do not, do not be marketing for them. They don't respect you. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. They don't respect the work that you're putting I'll in. your finger again. Um, you just voice how we all feel. I hate when companies do that. Teachers feel more empowered since we all got Please jumped in the cold. We've heard nothing. Here. I've always been like that. No, no, no. I've gotten no, in trouble yeah, with Palefish. Yeah, yeah. Like I, no, that, not I am for the teachers, not the companies, um, because it's nothing that we can't do on our own. We don't okay. need the companies. Um, and if you're going to have us working for you, you're going to respect us. A couple of sugar. Um, a couple. Oh, uh, this is a recipe. I'm making a recipe right now. What am I baking? You're baking me. I'm baking you. Yeah. So if anybody wants to know how to cook Claire. Not eclairs, but Claire, Claire Elizabeth. You have to use a cup with sugar. And um, what is that a picture of? That right there? Yeah, what is it? 
It's a spicy. <laughs> it's it's, okay. a, it's a, a spicy pepper. Okay, a spice. Uh, okay, a spicy pepper <laughs> and a cup of sugar. So that's just that's my grief Mommy, with no, with out school. I you know Mommy, did, I you save the screenshots. You I you know me. I literally here if you guys want to see it here. Like I have the screenshots where I, you know, I did this. They removed me from the group. I'm not making it up. There, it, it didn't cause a lot of problems. Teachers were just like, hey, we agree with this. Um, but what happened is they they want you, they want the teachers to be marketing for them. At this point in time, they don't want to, like, why not? Hey, we've got like 100,000 teachers that are teaching classes on here. If we get all 100,000 teachers to make blog posts and market on their social media, all we need is like three of them to do well on it and we're good. And, you know, you and then they can't take their students back. And then you've got teachers paying money on ads, which you should not do. Not a single one of you. I, like, I'm, I'm going to say the majority of you. I'll show you. Um, I have not I'll met show. many teachers who are at the point where they are ready to do Mommy, Facebook I'll ads. I'll show you how to draw um, okay, And no. you should not be doing it with somebody else's link. You should be doing it when you do a Facebook ad. When you get to that part, you're going to do a Facebook ad with your email list sign up. Because email marketing is important. I went off on a tangent here and we showed more than the Koala Go reward system. But if you are interested in Koala Go and you want to give it a go, you can check the link there. You can try it for free. You can sign up for pro. As you can see, pro members have way more benefits. Okay. Pro members get gems every month that you can give to your students. Um, TV turn off. We're not even in front of the TV. Get out of here, crazy. No, upstairs. And it's really cool. Mommy, up in And the pro members also. Pokey loves this marker. You will not. Pro members also Mommy, get. I need to draw. Why are you a wild child today? How about, Mommy, may I please have the pen? Like, what is this? What is this? Mommy, may I please have the pen? It's broken. I definitely recommend Koala Go Pro, especially if you missed my live yesterday with the new announcement, with the new announcement with Learn with Koala. It's a new platform that they're launching. It's only accessible to pro members. Um, so I would highly recommend if you're planning on using it and it's really cool, um, Go Pro. Go Pro. <laughs> Katie said she loves Koala. Definitely recommend. Koala's been really, really good. They have been pretty awesome with everything that they've been doing. I haven't heard any teachers complain about them. Um, yeah, she's so funny. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> you got to wash that makeup off her face. I come on here to talk with you for a little bit. I come to, I, she comes in my room and, or she went, she went in my room and she's got makeup. Uh, it's Halloween my makeup. She's a zombie. I was playing Minecraft. Minecraft has zombies, right? Koala Go is like Minecraft. Minecraft has zombies. Got to do it. All right, I'm going to end this. I will go live at some point in time tomorrow. I'm going to try to do this for Vlogmas. Um, I'm not sure when, and I'm not sure what. If you have any suggestions for what you want me to talk about on any of the upcoming Vlogmases, let me know. Maybe it'll be... All right, I'm going to go put someone in timeout. I'm going to go put someone in timeout. I will see you guys later. Bye.